Hi Sagittarius, welcome to my channel. This is a general collective tarot reading session for you Sagittarius. I hope you are well. I hope you're fine and safe and doing good. This reading for today is for the Sagittarius friends out there. Thank you so much Sagittarius for tuning in. Thank you so much for your support. Thanks for coming back. Guest viewers, if you haven't clicked the bell, click the bell now and click subscribe. And if you would like to further support my channel, Sagittarius, I invite you to follow me on my Instagram account. Connect with me there, please. Check out my online store. Um, it has a lot of new products in there, the merchandise. It is free shipping worldwide. And it is the profit goes to my charity and it goes also to my staff. Um, it was very successful that we have extended it to Etsy store. So if you're interested to check it out, the new merchandise via the website sunshine-tv.com or via the Etsy shop, all of the link is down in the description box below. And also Sagittarius, if you haven't, um, there was a new moon in Virgo. Um, not sure whether you had the time to read it in the blog, but the link is also down in the description box below, okay? So let's see what's coming towards you. This is a general collective reading, Sagittarius. I'm going to uh, pick up intuitive message with regards to career, finance, um, personal development, other opportunities. If there is a love energy here, I will let you know. But this is for you, Sagittarius, okay? This reading is for Sagittarius. What's coming towards Sagittarius, please? What is the message that is meant for you to know and ready for you to know? This is a September going towards October energy, okay? Let's see what's coming towards you. What is the message, please? Um, let's get one overall energy for you. You've got the temperance card. Let's pick one more card for your challenge. Sagittarius, you've got two of wands. Um... I feel like you've got a lot of plan, okay? Temperance card, um, this is all in the making. Um, if you look at the temperance card, it is holding the two of cups, okay? So I feel like your overall energy, um, when, you, when you click the video, when you watch the video, I feel like those Sagittarius who would be resonating or with you know would connect to this um with would connect to this video is that you have a lot of personal goals or i feel like you started off something it's not just something but you you've started off small project and then big project and then your personal life in other areas of your in other areas of your you know careers but i feel like it's coming all together you know um temperance card I feel like you've started a lot of things at the same time and it's all in the making and I feel like you know two of wands combination of the challenge and your overall energy because you started off a lot of you started off a couple of things you know for some of you it could be one or two or three but there is a minimum of two huge goals that you started off and these are in process these are rolling okay um for some of you there are, there is at least two or more for some of you it, it seems to be it's rolling it's in the making it's in the process i'm seeing you working hard towards your goal towards the contact towards the relationship um it's moving um but none of this is giving you that result yet there's also an element of two of wands being your challenge that because you're multitasking, um, careful because, you know, you're multitasking those two cups, you know, at least two priorities. You're multitasking that up and down, up and down. Because it's a bit bold, ambitious, and it's multitasking, you might, um, you might struggle to have ones, you might have challenge when it comes to prioritizing like your, your attention to detail yeah thank you spirit so make sure that if you are going to execute something a goal a personal project a career you know a career change a personal growth maybe you're going to focus on relationship make sure it's it is one at a time 
I mean, I'm really getting like, for some of you, you're doing two and you want more and you want more. So wait for things to grow, to have a result and then pick another one project, you know, so one at a time, you know, so, and also two of ones, you know, don't start something without completing this project. Like you've got this project, it's not yet completing, it's not yet completed and yet you want to open again. So yeah, I really feel like you're creating small, small, small bubble. Like you're creating this and you want that, you created that, you want this, you created that. So you are creating a lot of small project that it might confuse you and your attention to detail. So two of ones, um, you know, it might not proceed perfectly or 100% because your focus or your time is scattered. You're just one person. You also get tired. You're not a robot. So make sure that 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 expectation, that management of that small bubble, small project that you're create, creating, make sure that it's it's something manageable. Thank you, Spirit. Okay, so that's the overall energy for you and the challenge. Because you know, if you start that, you started this and this and this. You know, you've got a lot of things on your plate. You might not get into that futuristic outcome if it's too much. So one at a time, one fry you know in here like fry one big fish at a time okay when one project is done then you open okay so that you can focus on that okay and um so that's the overall energy and the challenge now let's go to specific you've got eight of wands here in reverse the ace of wands in reverse and you've got the knight of wands i feel like there is there's a romantic energy in here, the Knight of Wands. This is a player. This is a flirt. This is a very exciting, enticing. It's a delicious opportunity. It could be a lover, you know, or it could be a person who, I feel like it's a person who, not intimidate you, but it's a person who you connect and um, they have a tendency to attract you to turn you on okay whether it's a salesman it's a it's a lover it's someone you're dating but it's a person that can turn you on your passion your imagination if this is not a lover but this is a person that can turn you on your passion your imagination your creativity the knight of wands eight of wands ace of wands the thing with this person is you want to work with them you want to collaborate with them because this person brings out the best in you um, this person ignites your passion, your interest, and um, you would like to collaborate with them. You would like to start a project with them. However, this person is busy, is a little bit everywhere. Now, this is coming in your recent past. I feel like, you know, this Knight of Wands who make you a Mr. Excitement or Miss Excitement, Three of Wands, they're not really... I'm tapping into their energy right now. And this person is still pretty much in the Knight of Wands. You know, like um, up and down, up and down, stop and go, stop and go. Okay? Like they're they're here to you today, tomorrow, there. You know, it could also be an idea that this is your idea today, the next day it's gone. So it's um what do you call that? It's like a it's like a Christmas light. On, off, on, off, on, off. Okay? Now, the, the energy of this person, if this is a person or a situation, um, it's up to you to stay. But I feel like if this person gives you that inspiration, that idea, if this is not romantic, I mean, you can go solo. You, you can proceed without this person. You can go solo. I, I feel like this person gives you an idea to go for a business. In the current energy, Page of Swords, Nine of Pentacles, Four of Wands, look, you can go solo, okay? Now, if this is um, a love energy, I feel like right now, don't expect too much because you're still going to be single because they are Page of Swords bluntly all over the place, you know, exploring. You know, Nine of Pentacles, the Four of Wands. You're single, you're ready to mingle. Don't expect too much on this person because they're still exploring, okay? Um, yeah, it's Mr. Excitement, it's Miss Excitement, but you want someone who's stable. You want a per you want this Knight of Wands to get you. You want a Knight of Wands that would stay here in the Four of Wands, stay to you. This person is not yet staying, okay? Don't expect too much. 
Now, you've got here the High Priestess in upright position, the Queen of Pentacles, and the Hierophant card in reverse. Mm, this is interesting. Whoa, what is this, please? Six of Pentacles. In your recent past, you're trying to resolve a contract, an issue, you know? Um, manifestation. There's something that you're manifesting and wishing and dreaming that this relationship or this contract or this money, uh, for some of you, it's a relationship, it's a marriage. Um, for some of you, it's related to your mother. It's related your, to your family wealth, for some of you. Um, you're wishing for things to really settle, um, to be resolved. This will take a bit of time. Um, manifestation. So if you wish for for someone, um, I'm getting family in here. You know, Queen of Pentacles, the Six of Pentacles. When it comes to family feud or family issue or financial family support or assistance that you are providing and you wish that this would be, you know, would be resolved. It will take a bit of time like it would still be around september okay some some sort of i'm getting like it should be accepted that it's not easy to dispatch you know for some of you it could be a relationship it could be a divorce it could be a contract you're working on something legally legal matter signing of a contract you're manifesting something big to be completed in september um it is quite close or it's quite like um what do you call that um it's it's most likely a no it's most likely a, a no sagittarius it's something that you need to because i don't want you to get stressed i don't want you to get stressed frustrated or or pressure to unload it's a responsibility it's something that you need to work with up until the end of september october november it's gonna be free but pretty much you know we're only at the second week of september and you're really manifesting to unload or disconnect or finish it up or something to do with you know get some result it might take a bit of time because of the people and the legality involved in here so accept that it's in the process it's in the making i mean let go of control and just do your best to manage the people your pressure like i'm, I'm getting like manage you how you react i mean the situation itself it's needing time so the only way that you the only thing that you control and you can manage in here is your reaction so just protect your energy from from pressure or from from stress so you can focus on making there's there's a lot of decision making that it's involved in here in the next two weeks, three weeks. So for you to be focused on the right decision making, I feel like it's related to family, legal matters, contract signing. You know, so focus on accepting that it will take a bit of time because it does. Um, technically and logically, it involves the law, rules, people, family, and consulting other subject matter experts. So in the recent past, you've been thinking about it and you've been up until now wanting to speed up the process. It might just create some sort of pressure to you. So release and just hope for the best because it will, okay? Now you've got the nine of wands in upright position in here. Ooh, king of wands. And you've got the justice card in reverse. Um, well, you block someone. I feel like it's a lover. Um, for some of you, you block someone. Or in the recent past, you've been thinking about this person blocking them or limiting your attention. It's a struggle to block or to limit the attention towards this person. Because I'm feeling like up until now, you're quite into them. You know, like you're still interested, but somehow you're in control of, like you're keeping your promise to yourself. Um, there was a person, a romantic situation that you block or you promise yourself, I will limit my attention to you. I feel like you're you're still doing that limitation, that blocking. Um, September month, I feel like, um, justice card in reverse, I feel like you will try to unblock them. You will try to stalk them. You will try to see whether you're blocking or holding back or limiting your attention would work. Um, 
it seems to be justice card in reverse it's not as effective as you think because there is a control so um in here the the advice to you if you don't wish to speak to someone you know you don't have to block it because you're pre like in my opinion in the intuitive the more you do the more you, you overdo it no there's a term please um like the more like just be yourself because i'm i know you're tired dealing with this person and you, and you struggle to forget them or unload them in your thoughts in your feelings in your system like you really try to unload this person um why don't it's it's more of instead of running away with them face them and just don't let them get into you okay because i'm really feeling like in september month this person is still somehow indirectly connecting with you okay and for some of you guys i'm really feeling like nine of wands like you're very tired i can't shake them off i don't want to think about them i don't want to talk to them i want to block them you're creating your own pressure you're creating your own drama uh you're creating your own issues and problem let it be be yourself face the person um it could be that pressure of moving on you know um moving on it's a process or not wanting to talk to someone it's a choice it shouldn't be a pressure okay because in here it's quite forceful and it's quite i want it now i want it now energy so take it easy because it's just creating some sort of yeah pressure you're, you're pressuring yourself to come up into a moving on a complete move on sometimes you know when we're heartbroken what is that um what is that term sometimes you have to grieve okay so it, it, it's a process of purging it not forcing it you know because up until now september month if you do it in because you're doing it not in our or not in a organic way the way you handle yourself in here the way you handled this is the recent past and up until now this energy it's still quite strong the way you handle the way sorry the way you handle moving on forgetting this person it's unnatural it's something not healthy for you to do it so just be yourself and don't let them get into you don't give your power the more you are annoyed the more you you stop or block the more you do things the more it just the more you just act against your feelings so just go with it i'm, I'm getting that vibe in here because i'm seeing you in the current energy stalking them checking them out and then unblocking and blocking them so it's just a low vibe okay so try to take it easy instead of that just counter your overtaking, just counter this by doing self-care, self-love, journaling, you know, check out my merchandise. So, yes, so that's the, that's the last reading from, from the past. Okay, what's up? Yeah, take it easy. Now, in the current energy, you've got the Page of Swords, okay? Page of Pentacles. I mean, you know, for some of you, if you feel like you wanted to follow up or reply respond with someone with somebody it could be a lover it could be a friend please do so because it's polite okay um in the current energy in the next three seven ten days there's some sort of message i feel like it's romantic because nine of pentacles four of wands so if you're feeling i mean it, it doesn't hurt to reply i'm getting that vibe sagittarius there is a person that is waiting for you to reply it doesn't hurt to reply it's i mean it's it's what do you call it? it's courteous like it's what is that term um in english like it's it's not you know it's polite to reply so you will get some sort of message and i mean the more you overthink it the more it's quite obvious that you're playing hard to get or playing cupid for some of you for some of you it could be a long long time it could be a friend way back and you're just wanting to know how you are it's polite to reply it doesn't hurt to reply okay like it's it gives nine 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 of pentacles the four of wands you will be in the good image if you reply okay 
Now you've got the Knight of Pentacles and you've got the Nine and the Ten. Wow. So for some of you Sagittarius, Nine, nine of Pentacles, Ten of Pentacles, sorry, Six of Swords, something is going to happen that you're going to move along. Like you're going to move along with somebody. I mean, September, October month, there is a love energy. I feel like this is applicable for, this is a love energy, Sagittarius. Okay, a love energy, you will, you will be able to fully reconcile with your ex and you will boom, you will be moving on, moving in together. There is a September energy, it's coming from your ex, they want to reconcile to you and they really mean it. They really meant the reconciliation and for some of you, they will travel and move in or you will travel and move in and you'll move in. Yeah, there is an ex. They want to get back to you and it will be successful. Like, you'll be surprised that they they really meant the moving. Yeah. You've got an ex. You have an ex and they will tell you, I want to reconcile. I want to move in. I want to come back. And it will happen. Look at that. Nine of Pentacles, the Ten of Pentacles, the, the Four of Wands. Um, it's, it's, a, it's a September. It's a September, October energy. There is a... It's a September, October energy. Someone is going to tell you, Sagittarius, that, hey, um, let's really concentrate on our relationship. Let's get back together. Let's reconcile. Let's move in. Um, let's make it quick. Let's be together. And I feel like this reading, you're going to say yes. But when you say, like, you're, you want it. You know, you want to reconcile. You're single. You're available. You really want them back, you know. Um I feel like when you said yes, you're not sure whether they can do it, but you said yes. And you'll be surprised that they will be able to deliver to you. They will join you. They will travel to you. They will talk about logistics. This is good, you know. Um, and in the immediate future, you've got the Ace of Cups. So you've got a renewal of love with someone, with somebody. I'm seeing you guys spending Christmas together in New Year. And you're so happy. There could be a baby on the way for some of you. This is amazing. Okay, that's an X. That's an X reading. Okay, let's look at the let's look at the immediate future for you, Sagittarius. You've got the Seven of Pentacles, the Queen of Cups. Okay, this is applicable for. You know, this is applicable. You're dealing with a male. Okay, you're dealing with a male, and in the immediate future, there is a male who will offer you to invest. Okay. Um, I feel like they're selling property, they're selling car, they're selling bonds, but I feel like they're selling something. Um, Queen of Cups, the Tower card, it's really interesting. Um, Queen of Cups, the Tower card, make sure that, make sure that you are investing because you want the investment. It's not coming through some sort of peer pressure or, um, impulsiveness, okay? Because... I feel like it's a good investment, but you don't have enough knowledge in it. So there's some, it's a big money. It's a big money. It's a big commitment. So make sure that, look at that, Knight of Cups. Make sure that your heart is into this investment. That Make sure this is something that you would love to learn. Because you might not be able to get the money back if you proceed. So that's something you need, you need to watch. In the immediate future, there is a salesman um, wanting you to invest, to look at something. I mean, it's good, but you need to have a lot of knowledge technically and learn it before you go through putting your money. Because I'm seeing you, Knight of Cups, the Tower card, the Queen of Cups. Um, there's something in the process. I mean, the process of getting the investment, it's easy, but executing it, like it's not comfortable or it's not, it's not easy. Like there's something in it that you'll find, hmm, I should have, exper I should, I should have tried a lower version or I should have you know, read carefully the, the fine prints and stuff like that. So careful in this, okay? I see if in the immediate future, because you've got the Ace of Pentacles in reverse, you might lose money um, because you're super excited. You've done it impulsively. So in the last two weeks of September up until October, there is a sales talker, a salesperson. They're good, but it might not be the cup of tea for you, all right? So careful in that. Really think of it. 
think of think very carefully before you invest money whether you that's the subject matter expert that you can like you're make sure that you can be expert of this okay now ace of cups for some of you you've got a renewal of love i've already mentioned that there is an ex that would like to settle the indifferences and then move in with you okay for some of you new love september october look at that look at that look at that okay so for some of you so there is an ex like i'm like what i mentioned there's an ex who really will pursue you let's not prolong let's move in and let's forget about the past like this is you know this is a guitar if you really love me move in with me get back with me don't ever talk about the past and the rest is just history it's just you and me against the world okay because the red flag i'm seeing in the ten of swords is that what's the point of reconciling reconnecting or being back together if you will always mention the past we cannot do we cannot undo the past we can only move forward this is what this person wants because you know they love you they made a mistake they want to reconcile they want to be sincere in fact they're so sincere that they don't want to prolong it they just really want to move in with you but they don't want to talk about the past they don't want to be judged by the action in the past if you're not ready if you're still hung over with the past don't reconcile because it's just gonna create a block with this person for you let's look at new love for you guys if this is a new lover a new love opportunity they're still a little bit hung over in the past but they're willing to really move on in the past in the past situation in the past relationship so don't compare yourself to the past because the important to secure the future is the now okay if you want to safeguard your future talk about what is now the, the the past doesn't matter you cannot undo that so for um for for those of you sagittarius there is a new lover on the way um september october um they've got history it could be divorcee divorcee um but they've got this ex or they've got this traumatic past or complicated past but you know their heart is willing to love again so give it a chance give it a go and don't don't compare yourself to the past you're different okay yeah i never talk about the past i've got a partner right now i don't talk about the past because i'm the present and that is what all matters so this is your reading i hope you like it i hope you pick up into the message that would assist you and help you thank you for being here check out the store check out the merchant merchandise all products and services it is um it is accessed or purchased via the website or Etsy, okay? All of the important links is down in the description box below. And I'll see you soon, guys. You have a great day. Bye-bye.